have few things to discuss about uh, you know, the day-to-day -day activities which we'll be administering as an uh, as an engineer, as an administrator of an environment. And let's say you know uh, today my boss comes in and uh, tells me that I just need a list of all the members of all the DLs in the environment. And, and of course, uh, for them, it's just a task which is being assigned to an engineer, but the engineer knows the difficulties of it. And let's make it simple, you know, instead of be, uh, getting the reports manually. And uh, I think uh, there are a few other uh, options as well, but still, uh, using partial, how are we going to achieve that? I'm going to help you with that today. Okay, so here's my requirement. So my boss comes in and says, get me the list for all the DL members. Is it possible? Yes. Very well. So, let's say uh, I'm going to find it for one specific distribution list. What will be my first plan? So what I would do, I just I'll just go on and I'll just open up and uh, and an exchange management uh, shell, and I'll just run this command: get hyphen distribution group member, and uh, given the name of the distribution group. Let's say DL name, and, uh, and you know that's going to list me all the members of that DL. Okay. So what if I have uh, you know let's say 100 DLs, and do you think I can go and run this for all the 100 DLs? Of course not. And also, if you're just smart enough that if you just uh, try to you know type this up, get I can distribution list and distribution group. Hyphen crystal size unlimited and then uh, get out in distribution group member. Do you think this is going to work? Absolutely not because uh, uh, it might stop because the execution of the previous command will be in progress. So there are a few, a few other complications which I have just went through when I just started doing this. So it's better, you know, let's not do this. So I came up with a uh, script, which is right here in my blog. And uh, it's, it's, it's the uh, Ganeshi exchange.wordpress.com. You can each and log it to and uh, check this out. Yeah, me, nothing, uh, uh, no, no rocket science involved in this. The only thing which is done is that, you know, I have just uh, stored all my results here in this variable, that's the disk group. And uh, once after storing this for each and every distribution group, I'm going to uh, get the distribution group members. Okay. And for each and every, I mean, for each and every uh, uh, distribution groups, I'm going to get the count of the number of members. So it depends upon your requirement. If you want the number, if you want a count, you can just use your count, or if you want the display name, you can even make sure that you know only the display names are coming up. So my requirement here is to get the uh, count of uh, number of members who are, who are part of the DLs. Okay, so uh, so I'm, I've, I've also in a, enabled and transcript just to make sure that everything is going good in case of uh, anything missing out or anything is going wrong. I'm going to use this transcript to identify what's going wrong in that. And adding to it, you know, if I have a, I have a condition here, you know, which is uh, it should have to list only the uh, required, I mean, I mean the center authentication enabled. It can be anything, you know, as per your requirement. You can actually make use of that and you can set the appropriate values and list it out. So uh, it's going to be a very uh, pretty pretty straightforward script and it's very simple. And even you can just try it out and let me know, post in your comments and uh, and if you have any feedback for this, I'll be happy to hear it. Thank you.